So just before the election happens, I decided to make this prediction video. You gotta understand, I'm just an idiot with a YouTube channel. I have zero political expertise. The only thing I'm basing it on is me observing everything that's been happening from 2015 up until now, especially in the last year. So uh, this is going to be my uneducated, educated guess. I have no political expertise. You should completely ignore my opinion. I'm just throwing it up there and see if I guess it correctly. So first of all, uh, there's a silver lining to this election. If Trump wins, we get four more years of crazy, crazy things happening. Uh, uh, 2020 will be just the beginning. Four more years of the left being triggered. Four more years of crazy conspiracy, conspiracies invented by the left to make their viewers keep clicking on their uh, rage, bait, rage bait articles and the Russia Gate stories. But if Biden wins, First of all, it's going to be hilarious. Tons of gaffes. All the blue check marks across uh, Twitter, all the uh, all the journals, the annoying journals, are going to lose their job because they have created an entire uh, industry surrounding Trump. And now, when Biden takes the office, the economy is going to tank not because of the lockdowns he will impose, not because of the fact that he is a Democrat but because of the entire industry surrounding Trump and clickbait articles or rage bait articles and content is going to die. There's no more Trump as a president. What are they going to do? Okay, maybe they'll have two more months of them uh, thinking that Biden will pursue Trump in, in the Russia Gate story and try to convict him on something. But that's it. After Biden, they, have, they, they will lose their jobs. Their, their ratings are already tanking because they're fake news and now they're going to watch Biden other than the gaffes there's nothing entertaining uh, about it so that's first of all that's the silver lining you should be happy regardless of the uh, result of this election now my prediction first of all I don't believe all the polls obviously Biden is leading but I don't think they're very accurate first of all it happened in 2016 and you saw Trump won he lost the popular vote but won over 100 points in the Electoral College. Okay, that's first of all. The second reason I don't believe the uh, polls is because one of them was pointing the fact that Biden leads 11 points in Florida. Florida is the no mask uh, state, remember that, that's, that Trump won in 2016. I don't think Biden is leading 11 points there. I don't think that Biden, may, if, he, if he's leading in Florida, it's maybe two or one points, okay? That's first of all. Second of all, even if those leads are, tr uh, uh, are true, there's a margin of error, and on top of that margin of error, there's a ton of votes that will be disqualified because the Democrats have been pushing for mail-in voting for the entire last uh, six or seven months, ever since uh, COVID happened. But now they're making a complete 180 because they've realized a lot of the voters are super dumb, uh, super dumb enough to uh, make their votes not count because it would be, would be disqualified, not send it correctly, maybe disinfect it and ruin the vote and a ton of other things. That's why they made this, this weird um, nude PSA where Sarah Silverman, Silverman was with her uh, tits out basically telling you how to mail in your vote especially in Pennsylvania, which is a swing state, because you need to uh, double wrap it. Um, so yeah, I think that the polls shouldn't worry you at all. Not only is they were wrong in 2016, a lot of Trump voters are shy voters. They uh, won't tell they are a Trump voter in a lot of the cases because they will get uh, prosecuted for it in their job. Uh, maybe attacked physically, maybe their businesses being threatened. We've seen it happened in the past. So it makes sense that a lot, a lot of Trump voters would either ignore the polls, lie, or just don't uh, answer them. Okay? It's something that I've witnessed a lot in, in uh, generally when it comes to elections, myself going to vote and uh, watching a lot of the election, elections uh projecting that the left would win when a lot of the times it would lose is because a lot of right-wing uh, people right now are, don't believe in the media 
and want to help contribute to them being fake narrative so they won't um, fill in their polls, their exit polls, because uh, they want to uh, make them look even faker. So that's my, my uh, theory. Okay. Now, what will this election come? What will this election come down to? I think the far left is actually the decider of this election. It's no surprise that the Democrats have the popular vote with a lot of illegal immigrants uh, rolling in and liberalism being the, the infectious disease that it is. Uh, it makes sense that there would be way more lefties. Now, in the last election, a lot of the lefties, the far lefties, were so, so uh, disenchanted with the Democratic establishment that they didn't choose to vote Hillary because she was so hated and because they wanted Bernie. And a lot of Bernie voters actually voted Trump. Now, this year, there's been an a, a huge effort from the left and the far left to make sure they vote Biden this time, okay? They told them, specifically told them, and it makes sense, okay? If you don't vote this election for the Democrats and they don't win, they're going to completely ignore the progressive crowd because they're, they're never coming to vote Democrat no matter what. They already did it in one election. If they're doing this in this election, the Democrats in the next four years would come up with an even more moderate uh, politician and move further to the right so they can court more of the centrist vote. But if the leftists, the progressives, are going to vote this year, not only are they going to get a voting block in the Democrats, but it will push their politics further to the left because now, for the first time ever, socialists in the Democratic Party are actually voting Democrats and, not, and are not trying to infiltrating, infiltrate it, sorry, uh, hoping for a revolution. Because the Bernie crowd has specifically told many times back in 2016 and this year as well that they won't vote for Biden. They won't take what they think is the lesser of two evils. They've been pretty extreme about it and they've said constantly that they're Bernie or bust. And it's going to come down to this. Those far left votes, if they go Bernie or bust, Trump wins. Okay? If they go for Biden, I think that Biden will win. This is my opinion. The left has made a concerted effort. Many of the leftist political commentators, other than the very extreme ones, like this Brianna Joy character who was actually in charge of the Bernie Sanders campaign, they've been saying const consistently that they need to vote Biden so they can push things further left. This is why a lot of you right-wing uh, voters need to go out and vote, no matter which state you are. I think that all the options are open in this election, honestly, and I know it's a stupid prediction to make because I'm not making a guess, but it could be the, that all the polls are wrong, okay? And all the far leftists will ignore all the leftist pleas and would not vote for Biden, which would lead to a Trump landslide, in my opinion, okay? Because let's face it, all the Biden rallies are completely empty. Maybe it's the crowd that is afraid of the coronavirus, but in my opinion, he's not an inspiring leader. He has a lot of name recognition thanks to Obama, which curders, uh, courts a lot of the black vote. But um, I think that he is not exciting enough for a lot of the people to actually come out during this uh, lockdown quarantine period because people are afraid and the entire uh, point of the Biden presidency is to be anti-Trump, okay? His rally to vote is no Trump. Trump's rally to vote is all the policies that he stands for, okay? Biden only stands for no Trump. So maybe that's not exciting enough to pull out all the voters and Trump will win in a landslide, which I think is very much possible. Maybe it will just scared by because some of the far leftists will vote for Biden, but not enough. Or maybe it will be a Biden landslide and all the polls are right. This is honestly one of the toughest elections to predict. And I know I've made all the guesses basically. But honestly, honestly, every single option that I laid out, I think is 60% viable. Okay. 
I think that Biden could win in a, in a landslide and they fixed all the polling mistakes. They have counted for all the errors and they're right because the econ economy tanked and Trump ran on his economy, which was great, best in the history. Maybe uh, the far left won't come out to vote for Biden. Maybe the young vote won't come out to vote for Biden, which will be the death of progressive candidates in the uh, as far as presidency goes, because there are some uh, socialist and communist sentiments growing right now in the U.S. And I think the U.S. is slowly going through a Marxist revolution. And if Biden wins it, they would actually progress through it and push the Democrats further left. But if Biden loses it, the Democrats will kick out the Progressive Party because not only are they bringing bad press, but they don't actually come out to vote. So this is, uh, these are the options, in my opinion. I don't know what you guys think. Leave it in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. This video will probably get, uh, and rightfully so, 200 views because, again, I'm not a political commentator. I have zero expertise. It's just my guesses. I think the most likely option, and this is my final guess, is that Trump will win it. Uh, probably... Uh, just like in 2016, because Biden is completely uninspiring. I think a lot of leftists like Joe Rogan uh, won't vote for Biden. And a lot of Trump voters are actually very, very silent because of the prosecution they faced in the last four years. So this is, our, this is my guess. Trump will probably win. I, I won't say a landslide, but he will win. Um with at least 80 electoral votes over Biden. This is my guess. I don't think Biden is leading Florida uh, in 11 points. This is ridiculous. But we'll have to wait to see. Thank you guys for, uh, for watching. I'll see you in the next time.